this is Gautam and Certified Labby Associate Developer. Welcome to LVC LED. Today topic is a very important loop questions in the point of CLED exam. The first concept in the loop question is passing the data between the loops. Straight away we will go for uh, hands on then we will give a summary uh, and we will go through the important concept. Yes. When you see this code, there are uh, two while loops are present. They have individual stop control. So when I run this code, what will happen? Parallelly, they will produce the result. No changes in the indicator. Parallelly, they will produce the result, the indicator. So when I stop the first uh, stop button, the first V has been stopped, and the other V, uh, other uh, while loop is getting ran. Okay. When I stop the second uh, loop. So totally the whole VA is going to get terminated. So it is a simple individual control mean there is no problem for us. They are updating their results, iteration result individually. When I have a common stop control, that is one stop control is present in the first loop and that is going to pass the wire value to the second loop also. At the time what will happen, you just see only you can able to see the updation in the first loop alone if the second loop is not at all up updating it so when i press the stop button immediately it is a passing the true value to the first loop and uh, second loop is also going to get the first loop uh, that is a true value so that i zero is going to pass to the numeric two indicator that's why it is getting update it is not a good thing so don't pass the value between the parallel loops from a one single source okay and uh, suppose if i have consider uh, instead of the control if i am giving any constant boolean constant change to constant so at the time it is a false alone normally this stop if true whenever the true condition alone they will respond and they will stop the iteration but when i have a given false what will happen they will keep on iterating infinity in uh, indefinite number of times you just see the result only the first loop alone getting changes second loop never be ran so very important thing is don't pass the wire between the loops if you are using the or uh, if you are having an if you are passing any data try to use the local variable that topic will be discussed in the uh, future video Yes, as I mentioned, the summary first one is individual stop control will allow the parallel programming, and the second one is if you are having a common stop control between the data loops, what will happen? Only the first loop will run, second loop never be iterated. When I press the stop button, what will happen? They will uh, they will pass the value to the first uh, loop, then the second loop will start to iterate for only one time, and the third case is when I when I use the constant data. Or constant uh, boolean constant to the first loop what will happen only it will allow to run uh, first loop alone the second loop never be run so based on that uh, part alone they will ask the question in the CLED exam the second one is loop execution count how many times the loop is executing that will be asked uh, in the CLED exam also so from this question uh, you don't confuse any coding at all simply you can understand the working code of this and uh, random number is just assume random number is producing a value between the 0 to 1 for example i'm it is generating uh, 0 0.17 0 0.17 is going to compare with the 1 that is a less than or uh, equal it is obviously it is a less than alone and uh, the same 0.17 is greater than or equal to 0 yes it is also true so both are true true will be given both the true will be given to the indicator automatically the true will pass to the stop button so very first time itself the loop is going to get stopped so automatically that uh, only the zero iteration is possible so simply it is passing the value to uh, indicator result indicator is zero so that is only the question what value will be displayed in the result indicator uh, after we complete execution you can assume it how many times is running whether uh, stop if true connected with any comparison palette or any logic gates that we can able to understand from it so the answer for this question is 
zero that the result indicator will show only the zero whatever it is 0 0.37 0 0.57 you can assume and you can get it okay third one is auto indexed array and n wired so as i mentioned when you are having n value and uh, there are two arrays or more than one array have been auto indexed so the least value will be a best pro procedure for lab view to execute it that means 10 here three elements are present here four elements are present only the three times alone the loop will execute it okay because auto uh, auto indexing is enabled in this case so what will happen let us go for hands on then you can understand it yes both the uh, arrays are auto indexed enable to see and here they have auto indexing is disabled only the last value alone it will show it so please click the highlight execution then go through that only the loop is executing for three times yes so up to three that indicator is going to have it and uh, here the third element is two so that's why it is updating it so only the least value will be considered for number of loop iteration if you are uh, having uh, auto indexing array values okay therefore for this one is numeric is three numeric two is two and the next one is the similar part auto indexed array and n wired so when you are seeing this vi there is a, some broken error the array is there and the auto indexing enabled here and n alone is not wired already mentioned whether auto indexing is present or n is wired that is very important here you can see that auto indexing is disabled in that case either a n should be wired or auto indexing should be enabled so because of that condition what will happen there is some broken wire so obviously by seeing the question itself we can understand but many of them will uh, could not understand uh, whether it is auto indexing is enabled or not so you can able to see here the square inside one more square also will be there it is enabling but here only one square with the solid filling so what will happen they are not at all indexed one they are uh, auto indexing is disabled one okay so you must wire n value okay you can see that also in the hands on i have wired if i make enable indexing immediately immediately the broken error has been removed okay but in the previous condition what happened the indexing is disabled you must wire something in the n terminal if we have wired some terminal in the n uh, automatically that broken error will be removed this is the reason for broken error in the particular question so based on that uh, answer we can understand the value the count terminal is unwired that is the reason for that broken run error what value will be displayed in the numeric indicator after VA complete execution? See here, n value is minus one. They are uh, signed integer, that's why they are accepting it's minus one. But obviously, that uh, for loop is working for minimum one time. You must give n is a one. That is only the minimum value. But it is going below that. What will happen? You can see here. You just assume, or you, you can understand that I have been used only shift register concept. So by going to the hands on you can understand the concept so if we have wired minus one what will happen you can see 28 any reason for that the 28 has been wired with the shift register no that's why the shift in is just passing the value to the shift out even though the loop is not iterated okay even i have given zero when I press this one, automatically the same 28 alone will be passed to here. Okay, if I have given one, so that is only the correct approach. So 28 plus 2, 30, that is passing to the shift register, shift register out, automatically is producing it. So n value should be minimum one. If you have given one uh, zero or uh, minus one or uh, whatever the minus value, if you have given the loop never be iterated simply it will pass the wire sorry pass the value uh, from shift register into shift out you can see it in the highlight execution also only 28 is passing here the loop is never uh, not at all is running so that is very important so we have option 30 and 28 you must pick or you must 
uh, check that uh, n value is what is that based on that you can pick it so the answer is it alone shift register is initialized or uninitialized that is also very important the loop concept so you can see auto indexing is enabled so only uh, that uh, array is only the deciding authority how many times the loop is going to execute so here i have a given so many shift register elements so three to one i have wired at the bottom you can understand from the concept itself if we have wired in the top sorry bottom the all shift register elements value will come to that particular position then they will also will be operated they will also be involved in the functionality okay you can see and the shift register out is directly connected with this auto indexing so every time whenever it is passing the value to the add function that is one is passing here the same one is passing in the shift out also and uh, bottom the three is going to connected with the, is connected with the add function no? that will be added and they will provide a four result and it will be given to the array indicator okay shift out alone will collect the value directly from the array okay and uh, second iteration two is just coming down and uh, two plus two four that value is passing here and uh, next one is one is coming down the third uh, third element so one plus three four then it is updating it so so far we got a triple four but uh, loop is executing for four time no what will happen sort always shift out what is the first value only first value is one no that will be come down once again and one plus four it is a five you can check it in the hands on also i'll do the highlight execution then you can understand it Three is passing and parallelly you go through that uh, out also three times we got a four fourth time we got a will four five is answer for it if we have wired we have wired this add function along with the top shift register mean what will happen obviously only the first that is a new value alone going to get to add a function can see the indicator alone yes two three five seven just to go through that whether it is a connected wire is the bottom or uh, top of the shift register connection important so answer for this one is triple four five uh, take, uh, take a practice uh, wiring in the top and bottom next one is multi loop that is the last concept so already we have discussed in the for loop concept multi loop here i just introduced one more thing it has been initialized with uh, one shift register that is add incorporated with the shift register also so what will happen the loop is executing for two times right so during the first iteration what will happen i is zero so that loop never be iterated but i because of uh, shift in no that uh, two is simply passing to the shift out so array will take that uh, two also in the first value and after the when the annual is it two what will happen i is equal to one so simply it will decrement by one so that is a two minus one become one so the answer is going to be two one that also we can understand from the hand very first time loop is not at all iterating but simply passing the value in the two simply and the shift reached out so we got it a one in the CLAD point of view just to focus these five concepts able to crack uh, six uh, six questions in the CLAD exam so passing the data between the loops and uh, loop execution count auto index array and and wired shift register initialized or uninitialized where it has been wired and finally multi loop concept whether shift register is present or simply tunnel is present that is very important thank you all subscribe our channel all the best